So hi, I'm Daniel Kelly, and um, I'm going to be talking to you today about Nuxt and Netlify CMS. Uh, last year, I was uh, at ViewConf, and really great time there, met a lot of great people, uh, saw a lot of really great talks, but the one that really stuck with me uh, was this one about Nuxt.js. It was completely new to me, and uh, I just got really excited about the possibilities of what I could do uh, with Nuxt. Um, so I started tinkering around with it a little bit, just trying to play around, starting to see what I could do. Um, by day, I'm a, a PHP developer, and so uh, Node is slightly foreign to me in some ways. And uh, so the easiest route ended up being um, using Nuxt as a static site generator. And so with that, I built a uh, little theme and uh, got it published on the um, Netlify uh, Jamstack website and uh, was really excited about the little things that I was able to do uh, with that theme. So I wanted to share it with you guys just a little bit about what that looked like. So this, this here is uh, the open source version of uh, Awake. And as you can see, it's just a basic blog template, right? Uh, it's, it's not even like this great styled thing. It's just Bulma uh, straight out of the box. Um, uh, but it's got some pretty unique things going on uh, in the background. Uh, so you can see you've got posts and pages, and um, you can categorize your, your pages under certain categories. Um, you're able to uh, search, and there's a little newsletter sign up uh, thing down here in the bottom. Just uh, nice little things that were made very simple uh, with uh, with Nux. Um, and then I went on to, to, to say, okay, well, what if, what if this could be a premium product? What if this was something I could sell? And the reason I thought that was because once I published this on um, the Jamstack uh, kind of repository site there, um, I started seeing a decent amount of traffic. Now, I'm not into the product world at all, so uh, what, what I see as a decent amount of traffic is probably not what a lot of you see as a decent amount of traffic, but I, I saw uh, 10 to 20 visitors a, a day uh, up to, um, you know, 100 page views, um, just them clicking around and seeing different things, and this was, uh, this was big traffic for me. And so I thought, okay, so how can I, how can I uh, push that to the next level? Well, today I'm going to share with you a few, um, a few uh, things that I learned while building this open source and as I'm in the progress of building this, this premium version of this awake template with Nux.js. So uh, what, what about Nux is so awesome? Well, it can generate a fast static site. In the PHP world at my day job, there were a lot of things that we had to uh, really focus on and be intentional about trying to make things fast. There are things that you don't even have to think about with a static site. Right? Because they, they just work out of the box. They're already fast because you're talking about flat files delivered from CDNs all across the world. Um, another thing that I learned as I was, as I was um, building this Nux site uh, was that uh, there's this thing called dynamic component imports. And it helped me be able to split up different pieces of my JavaScript and only serve the pieces of JavaScript uh, that were relevant to the current page that was being served. And so that looks like this. Uh, this is uh, the end of a single post page, and I wanted to import the comments only on the post because they didn't matter anywhere else, right? And so here in your component section, all you do is uh, declare your component name and then use this, this import function, and then there's some special little webpack uh, comments you can add in there in order to uh, you know, tell it to prefetch or, and then tell it what you want the chunk to be named. But this is then generated into a completely different uh, JS file, and it's only loaded uh, when this single page has, has been fetched. Um, another thing I was able to do, because it's a static site, I was able to generate uh, optimized images at build time. Um, another alternative to this would be something like uh, Cloudinary, right? And that would, in fact, even spill up your build time process, something I'm playing with. Uh, but just, just the ability to do all these cool things because you have a build time. It's not just all a, a runtime environment. Um, another thing that made uh, Nux really fast was just the, the page transitions between different pages of the site. You guys have seen that, but it feels really nice. Um, so 
what is Netlify CMS? And how did I integrate that with this project? Well, it's an easy content management system for static sites. It comes out of the box, um, kind of, <laughs> out of the box with live previews. Um, content is actually saved to GitHub. This was actually huge for me. Like, uh, coming from PHP and interacting with MySQL and all this, like, especially in a local development environment, sometimes isn't um, as easy as you would like it to be. But when, you're, when your content is all saved in markdown files, local development is a breeze. Like, <laughs> it's so simple. There's, there's, there's literally almost zero dependencies. You got Node and you got your project and that's it, right? So this was really big. Um, Easy authentication with uh, Netlify identity. That worked out of the box. Auth is something that's kind of a black box to me a lot of times, but Netlify identity made it really super simple. Uh, other things that it provides, drafts as branches, it installs with a scribble, simple script tag. Um, you configure basically all your, your inputs and configurations for, you know, like what kind of fields does a post need, right? It needs a title, it needs a subtitle maybe, it needs a body. You configure all these things in a YAML file and Netlify CMS takes care of the rest. Uh, you can write custom components. This was really important to me. I wanted the ability to, um, so you, like you're in your markdown, you're, you're typing, you're editing, you know, you wanna be able to put an image, but I wanted to be able to put in like a button right there too, right? So the custom components allowed me to do that and they're fairly simple to write. Um, and this is an open source project backed by Netlify, which you, most of you are probably familiar with, so you can kind of see maybe the stability there. Um, so uh, some other lessons that I learned here um, for best performance, uh, only allow hydration of view components that really need it. Um, so there's a, a library by a, a guy named Marcus Oberlander, I'm probably not saying that right at all, um, and uh, from what I understand, might not even be necessary um, as V3 is coming out, but uh, he has this really simple way, excuse me, um, to only hydrate um, certain components um, when necessary, just this lazy hydrate uh, component here, and you see this one hydrates when, um, uh, when the browser is idle. And you can also say hydrate never, you can say hydrate on a certain event, um, anything you like there, and it just means that it's not going to actually hydrate until later, so you're, you're speeding things up. Um, just, before, just because Netlify CMS uh, uses React didn't mean I had to use React, and that was really awesome because I, I don't use React. Um, so uh, to, in order to get the preview working, uh, basically all I, I did was I was able to uh, render a single iframe uh, with, with Nuxt, and then I just iframed in the front end of the site, and then I started altering the store um, from the, the CMS inputs, and it was, it was pretty magical. I thought I was gonna have to do a lot more React than I did, but this was, uh, was a godsend. Um, so static API generation. Um, this is a kind of fun thing I learned. I never thought I'd be saying the word static API, but um, I needed a way to uh, be able to kind of have this page listing here of, you know, of different content types, of different posts, and I didn't want to just have that built right into the page. I wanted it to be Ajaxed in, so that way, one day when I figure out um, how to only generate new stuff, um, I would be able to you know, keep this page uh, and not have to regenerate it again at a later time. And so, um, basically, on bu at build time, uh, I have Node just kind of run through my markdown files and create JSON files that are paginated. It's just like page one dot JSON, page two dot JSON, and uh, the, the JavaScript here knows to search one after the other as I'm scrolling down and, and lazy load things. Made it, made it fairly simple. Um, so I found out real quick that static sites can really achieve a very wide range of functionality using uh, different third-party systems. For instance, in the premium version of, of Awake, I really hope to support uh, e-commerce. Well, there's actually a view uh, solution for that. It's called Snipcart, and I was able to implement it very quickly. Uh, commenting was provided by uh, Discuss, a very simple setup there, forms and, and all that. So, so I wasn't limited by the fact that this was a static site. A lot of times we think of static sites as you know, being a little dumb, but they don't have to be. And Nux provided a great way for me to do that uh, very easily. Uh, lastly, I found uh, open source is a very decent way to validate 
project ideas. I kind of mentioned that a little bit earlier. And of course, an awesome way uh, to give back to the Vue community. Um, so there's, there's more for me to do, I think. There's more for me to learn. Um, as I mentioned before, I, I really only want to regenerate pages uh, that have been changed. Um, I think that'll be a huge win for build times. Um, I haven't currently been able to accomplish that. Uh, I also want to make the search a little bit more scalable with serverless functions um, and, and just make things even faster. But as you can see, um, the biggest, one of my, my biggest um, goals with this was just to make something super, super fast. And this is the open source version run through uh, PageSpeed Insights. 99 on desktop, 89 uh, on mobile, everything throttled. Um, so that's what you're gonna get when you're on a mobile phone. Uh, once again, uh, I'm Daniel Kelly. You can reach me at Twitter at DanielKellyIO and go check some of the stuff out. It's really cool, see what you can build and uh, I encourage you to, to, to do something on your own uh, with Nux.js and Netlify CMS. Thank you.